Hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know me or are new to the channel, I'm Georgie from Healing Moons and today we're going to be looking at the new moon as part of the Moon Phases series. And so the new moon is it's the new beginning. It's when we set our intentions and create vision boards. That's my dog getting comfortable next to me. <laughs> um, set our vision Yes, Toby. Set our vision boards and any new moon wishes that we wanted to do. It's also a time for affirmations as well. And it's also the time when, if you're looking for a new job, it's the time to do it. Um, it's time to do the job hunting or if you want to reinvent yourself and start over, get the new haircut, whatever it is that you want to change. Um, this is the time to, to do that. So to support you we're also going to look at the essential oils and crystals that correspond with the new moon. So the essential oils that you use for a new moon include cedarwood, ginger, citrus oils um, like orange and also grapefruit and thyme. So they all have properties that support you whether it be for sleep, um, the cedarwood helps you to sleep and then it will increase your energy for the following day. Ginger helps with circulation and it also makes sure that the energies aren't stagnant. It will help to, to move the energies like it does your circulation in your body. And the citrus smells are kind of for a, a pick-me-up, instant pick-me-up. So because orange is very uplifting, so is grapefruit. And then the thyme is another mood lifter as well. And the crystals that you would look at using, um, the obvious ones are moonstone, which can be used for all phases of the moon. And there's also selenites, which is good for the new moon phases as well as the full moon. And also pink Himalayan salt as well. And you can use those as part of your meditation or part of the environment that you would create for your ritual or new moon ceremony when you're doing your new moon wishes. And when you're setting your new moon wishes or intentions, and when you're, you can use these to also create your affirmations so that they are personal to you. So you would write down a list of negative self-beliefs um, you can, you can, if you want to, as part of your ceremony, you can put these on little pieces of paper. Um, obviously, make sure that they're written quite small on the pieces of paper. And you can, if you want to, then destroy them as part of your ceremony, whether that be, obviously, be careful if you're going to burn them, but you can burn them. Um, you can also rip them up, bury them, whatever it is that you feel called to do to destroy those beliefs once you've written them down but before you do that part and destroy them you would look at them and flip them so that you're creating your own affirmations from your limiting self-beliefs so if one of your for an example if your limiting self-belief was I'm not worthy or I'm not lovable then you can flip that round into something like I am worthy whole and complete exactly as I am if you can't make the full flip go with something that is the idea is that it needs to be something that you could you either do believe a little bit or could believe so it could also be something like i am working towards feeling whole and complete or that i'm not lovable um something along the lines of i am beginning to see myself in a more loving way so that you're starting to work on shifting those away from what was 
into creating what you want to believe about yourself. Then as part of your ceremony, you can then destroy the, the old beliefs that you've written down and then you would repeat the affirmations ideally on a daily basis, multiple times a day, um, moving forward. You don't want too many affirmations because you need to be able to remember them um, and keep them quite short because you'll need to be able to repeat them to yourself. And then if you want to and you're feeling comfortable with doing it, or maybe you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, you can also repeat those to yourself in a mirror. So you're actually talking back to yourself. And the idea is that you make eye contact with yourself in the mirror to then repeat them to yourself in the coming days and weeks. And also with the crystals and oils that I mentioned earlier, you can use those in creating your your sacred space for when you're setting your intentions. So whether that be the oils that you put in your um, diffuser or even if you have scented candles with some of those fragrances in, you don't have to use all of them. And you certainly don't have to go out of your way to get them if you don't already. Um, but yeah, they're, they're something that you can add to it. And depending on your practices, you can also use them to anoint your candles for your new moon wishes if you're lighting a candle for the occasion. And you can use the crystals in your, your sacred space as well to add to the energy that you're creating to set your intentions going forwards. So if you've enjoyed this video this week, um, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I've put a link in the description box below which links to my website. Um, if you want to look at getting any of the crystals or any of the oils, they're available via myself if you wanted to. Um, obviously by doing so you'd be supporting the channel and myself as a independent small business and I will leave it there and see you next time. Love and light. Take care. Bye.